What I'm talking about today is going to be COVID brain psych. And I even coined a term for this. I called it COVID psych brain, CPB. So what is it? If people feel tense all the time, uh, they, they have sleep issues. Um, they're just not motivated. They can't get themselves to do things. And then the major thing that everybody seems to really harp on is forgetfulness. Now, in terms of what does this mean in terms of neuropsychiatry? Well, it's the cognitive functions. And what do I mean that by that? I mean, mean their people's memory, people's concentration, people get confused, people can't focus, or people are dizzy. Now, it's like a perfect storm. I mean, think about this. Well, first we had the virus, okay? The virus came, okay? Then we had lost everything. We're deprived of, of we're lonely. We lost our activities and everything. And then we're stressed out of our mind because there's all these changes and all this uncertainty. You put it together and we got the perfect storm here. What basically happens is the immune system that we have is burned out. It will not shut off and what's happening is it probably causes inflammation and this inflammation in the arteries are decreasing oxygen to the brain and it's probably causing a lot of this okay now we have this thing called the amygdala in our brain and that is like our alarm system and it is going off 24 7 and it we the brain never saw this stuff before so the brain doesn't know how to react. So it's short circuits. I got so many people in my practice who have this. People with pre-existing illnesses are much more having it. And just think about it. Well, everything is what's called decompartmentalized. In other words, we used to have work and home. Now work and home are together. We used to have school and home. Now they're together. We used to have personal work. So what's happened is we lost our routine and we just don't have any information to help us to process this. And we're getting this thing called the COVID site brain. Well, if it's really bad and your fog is really bad, pause, make a plan, and then just execute. Okay, if it's not that bad, well, what we gotta do? We gotta accept it. We got to put it in perspective and we gotta hope that it's gonna work that's easy to do then is the resilience part now the thing here is i got a special tip we've all talked about resilience the exercise the vitamins uh, and so forth but we need to put ourselves in alpha states alpha states decrease our immune response how can we do it meditate um, learn how to uh, self-hypnotize listen to music Try these things and it'll really start to work for you. And if all else fails, if you find yourself dysfunctional and you can't sleep, you can't eat, you're getting in fogs all the time, see the psychiatrist, okay? Take care, everybody. Don't suffer alone. At Bregman MD, we can help with our years of online therapy experience. Just give us a call or contact us online.